Roxana Siberia has been digging into those communications between Rudy Giuliani, President Trump, and Ukraine's president. She's in Kiev. That's the Ukrainian capital. Roxana, we heard that you have new information on the content of those talks. What can you tell us? Good morning. Ukraine's president said this morning he will not be releasing a transcript of his July 25th phone call with President Trump. A former advisor to Ukraine's president told us it was a, quote, well-known fact here that President Trump was looking for compromising information on Joe Biden and that Ukraine's president believed U.S. aid to his country was at stake. I'm sure that issue of Biden was forever on the, on the, on the table between Zelensky and Trump. As a former lawmaker and advisor to Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, Serhiy Leshenko believes it was clear that President Trump wanted Ukraine to investigate his Democratic rivals. Of course, he wanted political privileges, favors for his re-election from Ukraine. In return for military aid? I would say yes. Do you have any evidence of that? It was like well-known fact in Ukraine. In 2016, Lashenko was at the center of exposing Paul Manafort's dealings in Ukraine. He says he recused himself from working for Zelensky in May this year after it became clear that could threaten relations with the Trump administration. Ukraine relies heavily on U.S. aid in its war against Russia. In July, Trump ordered nearly $400 million of that support withheld. Days later, in a phone call, he asked Ukraine's president to investigate the Bidens. According to the whistleblower's complaint, Mr. Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, made or attempted contact with at least seven Ukrainian officials, including then-Prosecutor General Yuri Lutsenko. Lutsenko told the BBC Giuliani asked him to investigate the Bidens. Have you got any evidence that Joe Biden acted in any way which supported Hunter Biden's company, Burisma? It is not my jurisdiction. Under Ukrainian law, you've got nothing? Nothing, certainly. But Lashenko says the two men were circumventing official channels. He told us Giuliani also tried to set up a meeting with President-elect Zelensky, but Zelensky said no because he realized everything about this story was toxic. Tony? Roxana Saberi in Ukraine for us. Roxana, thank you very much.